Laryngeal cancer is, it's a specific form of cancer of the lining of the upper ear digestive tract. It's, um, it, it presents as a growth or a nodule or an ulcer down inside the voice box and it's caused in almost all cases by people that smoke, often people that smoke and drink. In many cases, if it's on the vocal cords, it'll present as hoarseness at an early stage, and it has a very high cure rate when we have a patient that has vocal cord cancer. But sometimes in the upper parts of the voice box, it can, it can grow to a substantial size before the patient would have any symptoms. There are some other symptoms too. If you have unexplained uh, pain in your throat, or pain on swallowing that lasts beyond the typical course of a sore throat over a number of days, then that needs to be evaluated. Sometimes unexplained pain in your ear when a doctor has looked and doesn't see anything. Sometimes you, uh, 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 laryngeal cancer can present as ear pain. In general, treatment for laryngeal cancer in the early stages uh, involves a choice of either surgery or radiation therapy. And depending on the location of the cancer, the size, uh, one might choose one verse or the other. And once they get to be beyond the earlier stages, uh, we sometimes will treat later stage cancers with radiation, sometimes with chemotherapy. And we use those two modalities as an organ preserving type of therapy where we hope to save the organ and not have to take the voice box out. Sometimes in late stages we still have to remove either parts of the voice box surgically or sometimes the entire voice box. The biggest advancement in laryngeal cancer is the improvements in combined radiation and chemotherapy. Uh, we are saving more late stage cancers now, preserving the voice box and more cancers that, you know, that used to require removal of the larynx. Uh, so that has been the biggest advances in the last 20 years. There are a case or two of laryngeal transplants that are just now being reported in the literature, but uh, it remains to be seen whether that's going to be a viable, reasonable option in the future. There's no need to go out of town for laryngeal cancer. Um, we have, you know, we have the experts here to, to treat any stage of that cancer, whether it be uh, the reconstructive techniques where we have to completely reconstruct the swallowing passage and, you know, using regional and distant flaps, all of that technology and, and uh, all of the expertise is here in the community.